guys. Today I'm going to film a plan with me. Um, I'm mostly going to be using the Whimsical Plans Winter Berry Set. There's the sampler that you can see right there. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what sheets I have from the shop because I'll also be pull pulling in um, some of the December monthly colored items, mostly from Scribble Prints, but also from some other shops. Um, well, maybe from some other shops, but I thought the blue, I have a lot of these blue stickers left from December, so I thought some of those might go well. But first I'll show you what I have um, from Whimsical Plans. So first I have this sampler, um, and uh, you know, it has a kind of a variety of stuff. It has a full box, payday, half box, um, some flags and stuff. Um, so that's nice, it has the weekend banner, so that's nice. I actually have two of those because I purchased a grab bag from her and one of the sheets I got was this. So, I mean, not ideal. I'm gonna, I might try to not dip into the second sheet because maybe I could like give it away to somebody or something like that. Um, interestingly, the colors kind of do look a little different. I, maybe this one was like the Misfit and it's a little bit darker. Um, but anyway, so I, I, I have it accessible, but I think I might try not to use it so I could gift it to somebody if I wanted to. So anyway, so there's that. Um, and then I also purchased the uh, headers to go with it. And these are, these are Whimsical Plans headers. Um, you know I prob that if you've seen my videos before that I normally use Scribble Prints headers, but um, her font is super similar to be perfectly honest. And um, I like that she uses all caps. So I like her headers a lot too. Um, next I purchased the half boxes. The full boxes, which are super, super pretty. This was really why I liked this kit so much. I just love, I love that it's wintry without being overbearingly Christmassy. Um, and that was kind of why I wanted to use it this week because I was like, oh, it's finally feeling somewhat wintry here. So, so I really like this. So very pretty. Um, then I have her ombre heart checklist. And then I have the washi. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, as usual, I will start with doing my to-dos and my ombre heart checklist across the top. And no, I'll do my to-dos, ombre heart checklist, and then the todays. And then I'll be back. <laughs> have the um, full or the ombre heart checklist and then the to do and today headers um, you ever have like one of those days where you cannot get stickers straight for the life of you that is what is going on for me right now but whatever um, so next I'm gonna go ahead and do um, I guess I'll do my bottom washi first um, I was looking through my washi collection I think Whimsical Plants does sell bottom washi now. I don't know that she did when I bought this kit. Sometimes I don't like to buy the bottom washi because I'm always like, oh, I have rolls of washi. You know, it's just a waste of money to buy the bottom washi. And then I always regret it because I'm always like, oh, it would be so nice to have something that perfectly matches. But whatever, can't change it. I didn't buy it. Um, so the... What I looked in my collection and the best I could come up with to match were, um, I have just plain red washi. 
Um, and then I have these kind of navy hearts. Um, you know, the kit isn't quite, it's not really navy, but I don't feel like navy will, um, I don't think it'll fight it too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that along the bottom and then I'll be back. bottom washi is down um I don't know about the hearts um you know I don't I don't know they're not they don't super fit the theme we're not quite into February yet but that's okay um the next thing I'm going to do is um do my little things section building up from the bottom um and I have I'm going to use the leftover um little things sheets that I have from December because I never even used the blue color and I actually just got a third sheet of these in a grab bag from Scribble Prints which was a recent video um, that I can link below um, and so I have a lot of these so I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, and then also put the the only thing I you know when I bought this kit I was only using one planner so I really actually liked that her section said personal um instead of um like little things but now it's like personal the whole planner is my personal planner because now I have a separate work planner so the personal header feels a little dumb but um but I think I'm still I was trying to decide do I want to make an entire section that's personal um no I think I'm still just going to use it as if it's little things like I know what it means I you know it, it it's whatever um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be back. Okay, so I put down my little things. Um, I can, I'll tell you a little bit about them. I don't even, Tuesday was just like, I don't even know. But so I put down, I'm gonna, right now I'm just um, planning my dinner. I'm not doing like full meal planning right now. Um, I just kind of cook like one recipe for lunch or like decide I'm gonna make one type of salad for lunch and one breakfast all week. So I'm not doing like full meal planning, but I am trying to get a little bit better with planning out and tracking my meals. Um, so I do have, so I have one, um, little fork and spoon thing, um, every day. And so, yeah, so I, 
did that um, and then I have the little movie clappers those are the days I'm gonna try and upload on YouTube um, I have a couple of boxes down which I use for deliveries that I know are already happening um, the hearts I use to track when I need to call my mom um, SP just to remind myself that there are new multicolor releases and I think there's gonna be something that I want to buy on that day TVs I only have a couple of TV shows on this week um, oh and then the Astro C or the asterisk is for a friend's birthday. So all of that's down. Um, I will go ahead and tell, or the other thing I'll mention is that Whimsical Plans does just have seven headers per sheet, which I actually really like, because then it's like you don't, you know, I'm, you know, I doubt that I'm going to save the, you know, I'm going to use most of these in the sidebar, and so I doubt I'm going to save the rest of them. So then you can just like move it out of your collection. Um, I used a lot of the scribble prints, little things. Like, you know, I, I can go through if you get two sheets of these every month um you can kind of use like one color all week if that makes sense obviously i didn't do that for december because i didn't even touch the light green but i think that'll be um okay in the spring so anyway um next i'm going to go in and start filling in the today section um first i'll do my weekend header um, and I will say, I'm all kind of talk through this. My week last week was such a bust. I, what I thought, what I've been saying in the past couple of videos that I was a bad cold turned out to be bronchitis. And I was totally just laid out all week and like didn't even do any of the stuff I set out to do. Like finally just started like planning some stuff this weekend. Didn't go to the movie like we wanted. So I'm gonna, so this week I'm like kind of hesitant to fill in too much. I'm filming this on Saturday um, and I cannot imagine that I'm gonna be feeling like up to a ton by Monday and Tuesday. I'm hoping to feel better by Wednesday because I do have like a happy hour plan with some girlfriends. Um, but like next weekend, my husband has also been sick. So like, I don't know, I'm not gonna put in too much for next weekend. It's a long weekend, but I just don't, I really just don't know what we're gonna feel up to. So I just don't want us to like, I, I was so bummed to like have all these like grand plans and my planner this week and then not do like any of them. Kind of frustrating, you know? Um, but whatever, um, it's, you know, it's only, it's only stickers, right? But, um, yeah, so I'm trying, I'm going to try not to do that again this week. I just don't want it to be like the same thing where I, um, how big is her weekend banner? Um, where I like use all these stickers and then don't even do any of the activities, but I'm trying to keep that in mind. Oh, and one other thing I will mention is I happen to use, I used the, um, little things that were from... Scribble Prints monthly kit, um, but I do believe Whimsical Plans releases matching little things for all the like um, customizable sets that she does. Um, so if you wanted to get matching ones from her, you could. Um, I just didn't because I knew, well actually I don't even know if I knew, but at the time I wasn't super into the little things. Lately I've really liked the look of it, um, but it wasn't as like important for me then. Okay, K in the middle. This is a super cute weekend banner. Can we say that? Look how cute. Oh, that's nice. Um, okay. So, yeah. So I put down the washi behind the weekend banner. Put the weekend banner down. Next, I'm going to go in with these full boxes and start to use those. Um, I do have an extra one here. Maybe I'll save that one for up top. We will see. Okay. I'll be back.
Okay, so I went ahead and went through um, and filled in kind of all the white space in the today section. Um, I used the full boxes and I used the entire sheet of that. Um, I do have this little, one of them I ended up cutting this one to fit there. I think I'll save that and probably put it at the bottom of the sidebar. I also used the extra full box up there that came on the sampler sheet. Um, and then I... Oh, and then I filled in the rest with washi. Still have a lot of washi left. Um, you know, I'm not... Um, the gray, I didn't love, like, the super dark gray in the spread, so I tried to keep it kind of minimal how I used it. So I didn't use the gray washi, but otherwise I used the, the washi. Um, and so I filled in... Sometimes what I do try to do is, like, leave white space and then just put, like, a half box on top of it to try and, like, minimize the washi I use, but this week I was like, screw it, I really don't know what I'm going to feel up to, you know, it might just, I, I just wanted to have everything filled in so that if I don't end up doing much, it still looks nice, um, and no white space. So, um, I did put one half box down for that happy hour on, um, Wednesday that I mentioned, I used one of her cute little decorative flags and the little wine glass, um, in the, that came in the sampler. Um, and then, so next, um, I am going to, let's, oh, next I'm going to do the sidebar. Let's do the sidebar next. Um, so for the sidebar, I do have one of these left, the gray. I have these headers left, and those are both from Whimsical Plans. And then I also have some of the light blue color, um, from Scribble Prints. These, um, so some of the ombre heart checklist left over from December colors. And I also have from her old, what she used to do, the monthly kit. She used to have these, like, little three heart checklists to clean, to do. Um, I don't know if, where are the other ones? There used to be others. Um, maybe it was just to clean and to do. Anyway, so I have those, so I might put those in the sidebar as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll let you know what I did when I come back. Okay, so I went ahead and did my sidebar. Um, I, um, one thing you might have seen me considering in the kind of uh, speed up was whether I wanted to use, I have these samplers from Planner Kate. Um, if you remember, or if you saw last week's plan with me, I had tried to do this every day where I like tracked, I'm trying to develop a few habits. Um, so I wanted to do that. Obviously this was a total bust because this week was just like a disaster with the bronchitis, but, um, you know, I wasn't sure, I couldn't decide if I wanted to do that again down here, um, or not, so I had thought about using, I think in general I'd like to get these habit trackers, I might pick them up from her in the multicolor, um, I'd like to get these from Planner Kate, um, I, the only ones I have right now are the ones that were in her samplers, um, because I do think it'd be nice to just have those in the sidebar instead of having them at the bottom, but this week the colors just, I really didn't think they went, so I didn't do it this week, but maybe in the future. Um, so what I did do in the sidebar, um, up here I put two little reminder three heart checklist boxes, um, one's a to-do and one's a to clean, um, and these are really just like things that I need to do at some point during the week, but, um, I might not know like a specific day yet, um, like, you know, I think 
last week I had given the example of needing to go to the dry cleaner. Well, I didn't go because I was sick. So I'll probably put dry cleaner and like um, for the to clean, I like to remind myself like which loads of laundry I need to do. So things like that. Then the home section will be, um, I mentioned I'm working on like kind of a larger clean out project in my office. So um, that'll be for that, the different tasks I wanna get done this week for my office clean out. Um, and then down here, I just put kind of the generic goals. Um, I'm not sure if what I'm gonna use this for. I don't know that I'm gonna be feeling up to a ton of exercise, especially in the first half of the week. Um, but I haven't decided how I'm gonna use that yet. Maybe it'll be more like around the house tasks or maybe it will be for exercise, but we'll see um, how I'm feeling kind of tomorrow. So for now, I'll probably leave that blank. So um, next is kind of just filling in different icons for the week. Um, I don't have a ton, like I said, a super a ton going on that I know of yet. I'm trying to leave next weekend really open to see how my husband and I are feeling. Um, you know, I think we, in. In the ideal world, we're gonna try and go out to dinner and like go see a movie and stuff, um, given that it is the long weekend especially, but I really don't know what we're gonna feel up to. We might have just other stuff to catch up on. So a lot of that will be left blank. Um, but I will put in, like I know we always, like barring major, major change of plans. We almost always get groceries on Saturday. So I will put those in on Saturday because it's on the sampler sheet. Um, and then the payday is actually Friday, so I can use that down here. The other thing I normally do that I haven't done yet, sorry, I'm all over the place, is um, the Planner Kate double dots, um, which I normally use to mark my workouts. What I normally do is put one, well not normally, just the past couple weeks what I've been doing is putting one on every day because I don't know like exactly how what I'm gonna wanna do on each day, but I do know I wanna try and work out. So um, I normally put those in, but um, I had pulled these out. I'm not gonna put them in like Monday through Wednesday. Wednesday I have the happy hour, Monday and Tuesday I'm just gonna really try and like continue to rest and hopefully be getting better. Um, I really have to imagine I'm going to be feeling somewhat better to at least do some light exercise like yoga or bar by next weekend. So I will put those in. Um, I'm going to use some of the... I'm just going to kind of put them... Normally I exercise like right after work. Um, so I'm going to put them up closer to the top I think actually because really, really what this planner is turning into is like me planning my week, my nights out, or, and then obviously on the weekend it's the full day, but it's kind of like me planning my personal time and I don't have a lot of personal time until after work. I just don't get up that early. Um, so um, I'm gonna put these here. I hate to cover up the pretty patterns though, but. Um, also, I totally put that half box in upside down, so don't judge me. <laughs> or not half box, full box in upside down. I didn't even realize it because um, uh, the snow is on the bottom, but I was like, oh, I'll be different and put it like a different direction, but that was dumb. Um, oh, well. Um, okay, so I have those in. So yeah, I think realistically those might be the days I'll work out, if anything. Um, you know, I can always I can always add more and move them around if I'm feeling a lot better. Um, but yeah, so those are that. Um, next, I also, I always try to take a look at like what is on the sampler. Oh, these little chevrons are cute. I'm gonna use those. So that I can use as much of the sampler in a given week as I can. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go through and like think about what I want to do this week and then instead of talking you through it I'll just tell you about it when I come back Okay, so I went ahead and filled in some of the icons and things that I know I'm gonna be doing um, 
I'll just kind of walk you through. Um, here I, I knew I wanted to film um, and edit that night, so I actually just used one of these scribble prints little things. I've seen Andrea do this in her videos, which is where I got the idea, and you just kind of cut it so it becomes like a little flag, and then you can write in there in the half box. Um, then I do want to try and paint my nails that night, so I did that. Um, the only other things I absolutely knew were like the grocery icon, and then here, this, and then on Sunday, it's, uh, there's playoff games. Um, the Sunday one, the Broncos, I know my husband and I will definitely want to watch. Um, Saturday, I'm putting just a flag there so I'm aware of that they're going on, but I might not sit down and watch them because um, it's not really teams I like as much. Um, the um, Kind of the other stuff, I just put in flags and bubbles, like some teardrops while I had my supplies out. Friday night, I'm not sure what we're doing, but you know, I put a half box, there'll be something that we do, whether it's, even if it's just me, like having a me time night, I'll wanna mark it. Um, so yeah, so I just put in some some things like that. I'm gonna try, last week, like I said, it was just too pre-planned, it was just too much, like, and I just was so defeated when I didn't actually end up doing any of it, so I'm trying to avoid that this week. Um, I also tried not to crowd it too much because I really love these designs. I was so bummed to cover this box with a half box. Um, once I did it, I was like, oh, why did I do that? I loved the design, but you do still get hints of it. Um, and I just, I think it's really, really pretty. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like before the pen. Um, I think I'll go ahead and fill in what I do know. Um, and then I, yeah, then I'll be back and just show you kind of what it looks like, final spread. Okay, so I filled in what I definitely know I'm going to do. Um, like I've said like three times already, I'm trying to keep it light on the pre-planning this week because I got so defeated last week with like way over pre-planning and then not doing any of it because I was sick. Um, the um, other thing I wanted to do at the end was just show you everything that I used or like what I have left from Whimsical Plants from the like which was the main set I used. Um, so I have five half boxes left. I didn't use a ton of them. Um, I have this stuff left on the sampler. Um, yeah, I, I'll probably keep this around during the week in case we do end up having a movie night. But other than that, I'll probably end up recycling it to be honest. Um, then I have this washi left. Um, and these headers left, which again, maybe I'll keep it around for the week, but probably won't hang on to. And then I did use up the entire ombre heart checklist and the entire full box sheet. So, um, so you made really good use of the kit. Um, she's another one of those shops that does, you can make your own kit, like kind of patch together different stuff. So, um, check her out. I, I'll leave a, dis a link in the description below with a video where I um, went over this stuff originally. I'm not sure I said that at the beginning, but um, I'll go ahead and leave that below. Um, so other than that, this is a spread. Um, if you're curious to see how it ends up looking when it's filled in, um, do uh, check me out on Instagram. You can see here I have like little reminders because I want to try and start using Instagram more regularly for planner stuff. I know how active the planner community is on there So I'm gonna try and remind myself to like post my midweek and post my second half. So that's why those are there um, So anyway, yeah, check it out there. Um, and if you like this video um, Give it a like and subscribe and if you have any questions down below, let me know in the comments um, So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye